Hi, and welcome to Spry Whimsy. What I'm going to do today is explain how you can tell what your ratios on your spinning wheel are. I hear this question come up a couple times a year where people are confused. How do I know what ratio I'm on? How do I know what the ratios are on my wheels? Now, we're going to be working with the Spin Illusion wheels, and this is why I'm doing this today, is Spin Illusion has gone through a change in their wheels where they have now what they're calling the Corian wheel generation and the golden world generation. So the maps online will determine, will only work for the wheel that it's listing. So you may want to be able to figure out on your own what your ratios are. And every spinner should be able to figure this out. It's something you should be able to know how to do. And it is very simple to do. I'm not a spinner. I've been around spinners enough and I've seen the demonstration enough to know how to do this and it's simple enough I can explain it to you. So what we have here is an upright castle wheel, uh, the Spin Illusion Polywog, and the only thing you need besides the wheel to figure out your ratios is some painter's tape. So I'm gonna take a little dot of painter's tape, I'm gonna stick it right here at the top of the wheel. I'm gonna show you right now, I am on the largest whirl on this wheel. So I'm gonna take the painter's tape is right there at the top. I'm going to take my flyer. I'm at the top right now. What I'm going to do is count how many times I can go around in the time it takes for this to make one revolution on the wheel. So I go around once, twice, and two and three quarters. So right now I'm at 2.75 2 to 1 ratio. Now, I'm going to change this to the smallest whirl on the wheel, and we'll see what the change is here. So we're going to start there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're looking at 10 to 1 ratio now. That's a big difference from where we started at 2.5. So what that means is for every time you treadle this, and you go around one treadle, one round of treadling, you get 10 rotations up here on the flyer. Now, this is true for the polywog, as we're seeing it now without the accelerator. It is also the same on an echo where we have different ratios here and you just sort of set up pick your ratio or pick your world and figure out what the ratios are based on that and as you can see this particular one is a corian wheel because it has the corian um, whirls on it i don't have a golden whirl here one at the moment and that would be completely different than this one so if the listings online aren't telling you the one for your wheel, it's pretty easy to figure that out. Now I'm going to take a little jump here and I am going to then show you the accelerated wheels and how that differs. Okay, now I'm back with a polywog with an accelerator on it. Now the difference here is on the other wheel, the drive wheel using the drive band directly drove the flyer. On this wheel, and it's a little easier to see on some of the, uh, a little easier to see than on some of the other wheels. I'll show you in a second. We instead of going straight from here to here, we go through a set of gear changes before we hit this, the head here. So if you remember before, when I had this on the smallest whirl up top, I was getting a ten to one ratio. Now, because I'm going through this extra set of gears it's completely changing that ratio. And the reason I want you to understand how to do this yourself, if you have the Golden World Accelerator, it has less ratios on it than this one does, than the original plywood one. So as I have my tape here, I'm gonna rotate this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 to 1 now. That's what the accelerator is doing. It's taking, it's more than doubling how many times the flyer head's going to turn for every time you treadle the wheel. So that is a huge difference from where we were at before at 10 to 1. And each time I change one of these, I'll change that ratio. So I'll just with that one change now, don't forget to stay put, get it on there. Let's go back to there, start over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So it's still faster than without the accelerator, but not as fast as it was before. And I still have the option of slowing it down here as well. So there's a lot more flexibility with the accelerator on here. Now that's straight up, simple, easy to explain here. It gets a little more complicated when we get into some of the other spin illusion wheels. So the hopper, which most people think, okay, I have got... A ratio change I can make here by coming moving this band down here instead of up here and that will change my ratios now this wheel also has the standard rolls in the back that I can change ratios on so this already is giving me an accelerator now on this wheel, I have also can make a change from here to here on the back. Now, the actual drive wheel on this spinning wheel is not this one. This one is not directly connected to the trebles. This wheel is in the back. So to count your ratios, how many times from your treadling once around to what happens on the flyer, you have to look at the back of the wheel. So right now, we're going to start here where I have this up in the back. I'll try to adjust that so I can count this. So I got one, two, three, four, five and a half brings that back to the top on the back. Now, if I make this change on the band here and to do this, there's a groove in the plywood to help you because this is a hard band to move. Okay, it's in now. So let's find the top of my wheel here. I've got my blue painter's tape up right now. I'm going to kind of tweak this a little so it's lining up. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times. Eleven to one is what my ratio is right now. So if you want to spin finer yarn, you go on the big roll in the back. If you want to spin thinner yarn, no, fatter yarn, you go to the one, the larger one down below. And then you can adjust it more finely on the front on how fast or slow you want it to be. Now, we've also got the B. So this is a king B. So I have ratios I can adjust back here. I have a couple different worlds here. And again, this is going to change depending on what flyer size you have. And if you have a Corian world like this one or one of the new golden worlds. Because the golden worlds have the ability to go even faster than these Corian ones do. They have a much smaller ratio up here, which is going to make some big jumps in those charts. So here... This is my drive wheel. So if I'm going to be tracking it, I'm going to put it by this so I have a marker. So when I'm counting, I should line this up first. So when I'm counting my ratios, I'm counting how many times this goes around relative to this wheel here because this one is directly attached to the treadles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a three quarters right now. Now I can make a change here. There's another whirl behind here. 
So let's bring that back there. That's up. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a quarter. So that's a bit of a shift there. I can also change a ratio here. So let's bring that back to the start there. Adjust this a little. One, two, three, four. So that slowed it down. And then again, I can change it up here. So changing these ratios all over the place with multiple um, whirls is, this is an accelerated wheel. Just like the polywog was with the accelerator on it, this is just much more complex and the, um, than the polywog because it has three different gear ratios to work with and it's the same on the hopper. I hope that clears things up a little bit. If you have any questions, feel free to contest, contact us at Spry Whimsy. We're happy to help with the Spinlution wheels. Happy to try to explain what's going on with these to the best of our knowledge. Thank you.